I really like uh, Dalen Hayes' spin move. This is him at five tech, outside linebacker. Um, he's got to clean up one little thing, and this could really be devastating. I think he's got a real uh, knack for this particular move. Sinks his hips and spins very, very quickly through that gap. Uh, he's got it at the very end of this move. You see the beginning part. He sells up field, tackle buys, goes to cover him up. And really nice timing, very quick slicing through there. There's no way 72 should get this arm clear. He's got to uh, pin that arm, and you don't see him do that at the end of this. So if they clean that up, the Ravens, that is, he, he's going to have something to work with for sure. He may get held there too. It does not help him um, that the uh, defender inside of him kind of brings the guard to him. Uh, but I really like this move by uh, Dalen Hayes. This is against Clemson, uh, lined up on the outside shoulder of the guard. The Ravens have to like that about him, um, just the sort of positional versatility or the, or the ability to line up multiple places. Um, yeah, this is, this is interesting. He's able to sell outside here to the guard. Watch the guard squared, and then he's going to open up with his outside leg there. Again, good timing. He sinks his hips. Cannot tell if he swings that arm. You want to see him swing this, this uh, right arm violently uh, to accelerate as he spins, as well as to trap the inside half of the guard. Uh, so you can see him using this inside spoon, spin move and winning versus a guard inside and also against a tackle earlier. Very good effort as a pass rusher. This is him off the uh, left tackle side. Uh, watch the effort on this play. You can see the uh, tackle is able to punch his inside shoulder right there. He does go to swat that arm away, but the tackle gets into him a little bit. See how he kind of picks him up, stops him right there. But uh, note the athleticism here. Uh, keeps his legs running, swats that hand away. And he's far wide of the, ta of the quarterback here, but he doesn't uh, give up. Watch the effort. There's the left arm to the ground. He's going to just use it to push forward and dives for the ankle of the quarterback. Just love to see that. Just really, really great effort. This Times up the snap very well. Usually the first guy off the ball, uh, quick across the line. You can see the tackle go to cover him up high here. He's going to bend underneath that, rip with both hands, and destroy the quarterback. Watch it again. He's also used a lot on these delayed twists with the, uh, the uh, offensive linemen on two different levels. You can see the Ravens do that a lot, and... Uh, I think he'll, he'll blend right in in that regard. Uh, watch how relentless he is here. The guard's going to pick him up um, along with the running back. Running back gets into his hip, takes him off the ground a little. But you see that pop in his hands when, he, when, the guard, when he takes on the guard here? Throws him aside, kind of resets his feet, swats the hands away, does his best to get after the quarterback. Watch that again. He's probably being coached to get upfield, but not too far upfield on this, and, he, and he's being asked to cage this quarterback. That's why you see him stop his feet. Do notice he's the first guy off the ball again. Right here, he kind of stops and gets level to the quarterback instead of continuing the rush. Um, in terms of getting to the quarterback, you know, he's a little high off the ball. Not very effective in, his, in the use of his hands here. And you can see the tackle really presses him outside pretty easily. It seemed to me, although I could be wrong about this, that he was uh, a little more limited in terms of snaps versus the upper echelon teams. Um, I'm not positive about that. That's what it seemed like. You see he does a, a uh, not good job here, uh, getting hands off of him. And he doesn't have that ability to kind of uh, win the edge with speed generally against these better tackles, even though his get-off's good. Um, and he doesn't have that classic bend. You see right here when he whiffs with his hands, uh, uh, an NFL tackle here. 
or caliber tackle. Kind of easily moves him past the pocket. Just an idea of how they move him around. Uh, on third down, he's going to take the back out of the backfield. This is him outside the tackle. Um, another look at him matching the running back to the flat here. So Notre Dame would ask him to cover uh, backs to the flat. Uh, they would ask him to match tight ends up the seam, and he looks very natural in both those uh, assignments. Oftentimes, boundary side, they would drop him into a, a curl flat assignment, as you see here. Uh, he got a pick, took that route away. Uh, in a play that we're going to look at next. The throw is inexplicable, but he gets a pick nonetheless, so we'll, we'll uh, watch him in that drop. There are instances on tape of him tackling high, uh, whiffing, um, people getting out of his tackles, both out, out in space and uh, between the tackles. You see him drop here. Um, they're going to try to flare out and screen this back. And uh, he just misses high. The encouraging thing about ha uh, Dalen Hayes is that he does just about everything pretty well. And it's just a matter of whether or not that translates or how quickly that translates in into the NFL. But he dominates tight ends. Like how he's able to kind of continue to shuffle lock out there that tight end, and then shed him and get in on this tackle. He's the C-gap edge setter here. Watch him lock out and this two-hand rip and then go find the ball carrier. I like what we see very much here. Uh, Florida State's going to pull this tackle. Uh, they're going to leave him, and I believe they want the tight end to come down, down uh, and down block three here and he kind of blows that up watch him continue to shuffle uh get in this gap outside of the three tech or inside of the three tech right there cut that gap off um i'm thinking they wanted 87 to climb at some point but he completely blows up that block on the three tech gets in front of him uh disrupts that gap disrupts this block and then makes a tackle Can't help but watch him and think that he feels uh, very raveny and understand why they took him. I think they're probably pretty happy about him in the fifth round. Does everything pretty well. Does not get pushed around in the run game. Understands uh, how to play the run. He's physical. Um, adept in coverage. Um, shows some flashes in the, in the pass rush department as well. Um, and... It, it, it just remains to be seen how he responds to the jump in competition or how quickly he can uh, make that jump. But I think he feels very, as I said, very raveny uh, as a prospect.